Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks or Geeks. Today the problem which we are going to see is to move all zeros to the end of the array. In this problem, you will be given an array of random numbers and you have to push all the zeros of the given array to the end of the array. So for example, you are given this array. So you see that there are four zeros in between. So now we have to push all these four zeros to the end, which is here. And the remaining non-zero elements should be coming first. Also note that the order of all the other elements should remain the same. The time complexity which we want is order of n and extra space complexity to be order of 1. So the elements should be traversed only once and extra space use should also be of order 1. Okay, so let's look at the uh, algorithm which we are going to use to solve this problem. So uh, we will we are going to traverse the given array ARR from left to right. Now while traversing we maintain a count of non-zero elements in the array. So if you have encountered four elements till now and out of that two were zero and two were non-zero, then the uh, value of the count variable will be two. Now let's uh, let the count be variable count as we just said. Now for every non-zero element array i put the element at position array of count and increment the value of count so if uh, so out of the four elements you had two elements as uh, non-zero elements then you encounter a, a third element which is non-zero at the uh, which is the fifth element actually as of now then uh, you will have the value of count as two as of now so this becomes two here so at index two you will place the uh, limit at index i which is right now 5. So we keep on doing this that for every non-zero element which we encounter we put it at uh, the position uh, count at the index count and then we increment the value of the count and for non-zero elements uh, we just ignore as of now. Now after the traversal is complete then all the non-zero elements must already have been shifted to the uh, front end and the count is set as the uh, count is set as index of the first zero. So because we increment the count after encountering uh, after we encounter each non-zero element. So now all the non-zero elements must be to the left of the uh, index of the first zero. So uh, now we have the count at the index uh, count uh, is at the index where uh, the first zero has to be placed. So now all we need to do is to run the loop and make all the elements from the index count till the end of the array as zero. So uh, let's look at the code for this function. So uh, we have the given array here. So this is the same array which we just discussed in our example. Then we uh, do a size of array divided by size of the first element of the array to determine the number of elements in the array. Then we call this function push zeros to the end, uh, which takes as an argument the array and its size. Then we just uh, finally uh, print the whole array and then return zero. Uh, and the uh, for this given uh, input, the output would be uh, this that all the four zeros are shifted to the right and the order of the non-zero elements is also preserved. Now let's uh, get into the uh, into this function push zeros to end. So I have discussed uh, this function push zeros to end takes as an argument the array and its size. Now we'll initialize the count variable as zero. Then we traverse the array. If element encountered is non-zero, then we replace the element at index count with this element. So this for loop is letting us uh, iterate over the each element of the array. And then if we encounter any element which is non-zero, which uh, that means array of i is not equal to zero. In that case, we uh, update the value of 
the uh, update the value at index count as uh, value at index i and then we also increment the value of count which will be used in the next iteration now once we had we have done the full traversal of the array now all the non-zero elements have been shifted to the front and the count of count is set as the index of the first zero so we make all the elements zero from uh, the count to end including the uh, index count so while count is smaller than n we do a uh, count the, we place the value zero at index count and when then we do a count plus plus so in this way we'll have the all the non-zero elements to the left and then the all the zero elements to the right and also the non-zero elements would have preserved their order so in this way we achieve the time complexity of order of n where n is the number of elements in the input array and we also achieve the space complexity of order of one so that is all for this tutorial uh, do visit this link to find out all the stuff which we just discussed and to also run the code on the web idf label on geeks or geeks website itself Thank you very much.